doing back there? <laughs> so is this M20 F? So basically it's a J model without the speed models. Manual gear, though, on the F, eventually you could get electric gear. Okay. Um, and then I did some of the J model with speed mods, but I don't have the cowling because that's wildly expensive for very little. Yeah. So Is this like 180 or 200 horse? It's 200 horse, angle okay. valve, uh, IO360 Alpha 1 Bravo. <laughs> What's up everybody? So today we have probably the most unique Mooney that I've ever come across. And the owner right here not only has good taste in cars, or I should say automobiles in general, because it's not really a car, but obviously has amazing taste in airplanes. So let me introduce you Liam here and his Mooney. Tell me some details about this Mooney. Yeah, so this is a 1967 Mooney M20F. Picked it up about a year and a half ago. I had a fresh motor and propeller, but it needed paint, interior, and avionics. So did about a year's worth of work on it. And that was capped off by uh, my friend, artist Matt Kress, offering to paint the plane. We talked about designs. I said, you know what? Just run with whatever you want to do. You're an artist, you're a creative. Let's not drive each other crazy. Don't even send me updates. We'll make it a surprise. A couple months ago, I went and picked it up. And <laughs> this is what was waiting for me. And what made you want to get a Mooney in general? What makes a Mooney appeal to you? Let's tell you the truth. I was looking at different models of aircraft, and in the end, it came down to Comanche and Mooney because I was interested in um, a four-place aircraft that uh, made good speed for uh, a decent operating cost. Mm -hmm. I love it. And this particular one, some performance details. How many horsepower is it? So this is an IO360 Alpha 1 Bravo with the angle valve job, so it's making 200 horsepower. And uh, in cruise at 7,000 feet, it does about 150 knots on about 10 gallons per hour. Which is pretty phenomenal. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And this paint job, what, what inspired you, out of all the colors you could have done, to do this design? Did you have any like motivation behind it? Any go-bys? Well, this all comes back to the artist, Matt. Um, I. I like his work, I like his style. He does a lot of geographic shapes and a lot of colors. And I basically said, geographic shapes, lots of color, but you, you, you run with whatever you want to do. That's incredible. I gotta walk around this a little bit. And how long have you had this plane? About a year and a half. A year and a half. And you've already done this much with it. Yeah. That's incredible. We get to fly much last year. <laughs> I mean, wow. And the Land Rover, what year is this? 1962. 62. Yes, sir. That's got to be one of the best color options. You also done. did about a year-long restoration last year. <laughs> so you've only you've got to enjoy both these this year. <laughs> yeah, basically <laughs> only this year. I've owned them longer. That's absolutely beautiful. Moonies, they were pretty state of the art when they came out, weren't they? I mean, they're much they're they're much faster than a Cessna. Their payload capacity and their range was far greater than a even like let's say a Piper. You know, Cherokee was in the same category. These were considered economical speed demons when they came out, and uh, many people still consider them to be that today. Wow. How long did it take him to paint this? It was at the shop maybe 11 weeks. And Matt's portion was about three weeks. Now get this, the shop, the regular FA approved aviation paint shop, Ace Aircraft for Finishing in Bartow, Florida, did the usual stuff. They stripped it down, repair the metal, etch, aviation primer, primer, uh, white base coat. And then that's when Matt took over for a few weeks. 
This is 45 colors from 90 rattle cans. This is spray paint, graffiti You're spray kidding. paint for murals. And how many cans did he eat? 90 cans. 90 cans. Not all of them empty, but uh, it was two cans per color, 45 colors. Oh my gosh. Well, I'd say uh, this looks as beautiful from the ground. Let's uh, maybe go see what it's like in the air. And what airport are we at right now? We're at Albert Witted Airport here in St. Petersburg, Florida. That's I love this place. Oh, it's amazing. All right, well, we're going to go fly. We're going to go check out St. Petersburg Airport, which by if you ever get a chance to fly it, it's absolutely beautiful from the ground. And I can't imagine what it's going to be like from the air. But we're going to take up this gorgeous Mooney and probably the best paint scheme I've ever seen. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's cargo amazing. First. Let's get the cargo in there. Thank you for that. Yes, yeah, I, haven't, I, I don't have the stickers on yet. You're fine. <laughs> All this electrochromatic uh, light up text and stuff. That's so cool. I flew out to Texas a couple weeks ago before I went to the watch Starship to, toward their factory. Yeah, how was Start? How was that launch? I heard that thing. Did you see what I watched to it? Yeah, that's amazing. That was, that was a hell of a launch. <laughs> Exercise. You're doing your arm workouts here, or were we doing the trim? <laughs> um, set my trim. My trim indicator is broken right now, and okay. I know from fully nose up how many wheels forward to do, even though I have electric trim. So this is I a case six, of seven, a pilot eight. knowing his plane. That's what it's becoming. Yeah, that's good. That's a really good thing. Yeah. Here we go. about ready to start the motor. That's good. Almost headset time. I'll get the headsets going moments after engine start. I'm just gonna get mine at the ready. I love this panel upgrade. Me too. It's it's really informative, easy to use, and this Garmin Autopilot makes you know makes things really easy as well. Um, I feel like it really um, enhances uh, safety too. Absolutely. Okay. Clear prop. If you ever get a chance to fly the gorgeous St. Petersburg Airport, I absolutely recommend doing it. Even if you don't have access to an airplane, there's plenty of options at the airport to go for a flight at several of the schools. Uh, there's countless airplanes to rent. It's just one of those locations that I would highly advise visiting because number one is in gorgeous St. Petersburg, Florida. Number two is the actual airport layout. It's just unique in itself because it's surrounded by water, a majority of it, and then you have this amazing cityscape on the backside of the airport. And it's just one of those places that you fly out of and fly into and you almost fall in love instantly. It's quite impressive how fast this Moody got off the ground with 200 horsepower. Sea level performance is an amazing thing, especially comparative to where I reside in, where the altitude is quite high and on a hot day performance is, well, not so great. This Moody was a real performer and uh, that constant speed prop paired with that 200 horsepower like homing engine really is a good package when it comes to performance. Obviously the views here are just breathtaking with the downtown St. Petersburg on our left side here. Liam has really done a wonderful job of laying out the avionics setup on this plane. It's easy to read, it's very pilot oriented and uh, you know, with the technology of glass cockpits kind of really making their presence in today's aviation world, it's nice to see a vintage aircraft modified with modern touches. You know, everybody thinks that they need to go buy a brand new plane to get these modern, you know, perks such as a glass cockpit, autopilot, navigation, all these, and you really don't. You can take a, a vintage airplane and literally make it modern just with these basic avionics updates and uh, it really changes the dynamic of the airplane. Here we're coming up on the coastline of St. Petersburg and well, the water is absolutely gorgeous. The scenery is just breathtaking, whichever way you look around. And of course, this paint job on this plane is just 
It's a work of art, literally. I call it the Monet of the skies just because you don't see anything like it. You know, airplanes and their paint schemes haven't really changed much in the last 50 years. They're just the same old bland white with a couple of pinstripes here and there. And it's neat to see uh, an aircraft with just a different touch when it comes to the actual design and color attributes. I think on this particular flight, it really hit me how gorgeous of a location this airport is. With the sun setting and having the downtown city of St. Petersburg in our views, and then coming on final right over the water here for St. Petersburg Airport, it's just one of those places that kind of leaves an impact on, uh, well, your memories of airports that you've been to. You know, we fly at countless airports in our lifetime, but there's a certain amount of airports that really just kind of stick with you, and this is one of those locations that really does. Overall, I think the Mooney is an outstanding aircraft platform. Its performance is amazing, its fuel consumption is relatively low for the speed range that it yields, and its overall utility value. You can haul four people, have a great amount of cargo to carry, it's reliable, they're tried and true and tested, and they've been around for nearly 60 years. Liam has done a wonderful job of this airplane, and it was an absolute joy to fly with him and experience firsthand at this unique design and build that he's done on improving a lot of aspects of this airplane. What's here? Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. Huh, Hi. Thank you. <laughs> well, we just flew on this beautiful Mooney. Yeah, in and out of the Mooney pretty well. Thank and you. Not the most comfortable planes getting in and out of the paint job alone is an absolute <laughs> sales point. It's absolutely gorgeous. But flying in it was an amazing fa uh, experience. And then the location that we're flying in, in beautiful St. Petersburg just sealed the deal so that sunset was my glasses oh well you might need your glasses too I can't see where you're going can we can we leave no. them in the plane your glasses we can double check if you want <laughs> so if you want to see this plane in person Liam's going to be in Oshkosh 2023 which is obviously this year but you can catch them. Do you know what booth you're going to be at in Oshkosh or any? It's going to be outdoors at the light calming display across from Garmin, right over by Boeing Plaza, right in the main drag. Right in the Boeing Plaza. You can't miss it. It's that, perfect. But you can't miss this plane in general. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that sunset. Oh my God. I don't even want to go back home. I just, I'm just gonna, I just wanna stay here. That works, my parents would be stoked. <laughs> <laughs> wow.